Hello grade 12 psychology class. Welcome back to another lecture. As you can see, this is lesson two of the influential psychology experiments unit. So we have Harry Harlow's monkey experiment. Uh, I have to let you know that um, this would probably not be an ethical experiment now. It is a little bit shocking uh, to some people. Sometimes it doesn't phase people at all. Um, but it is with live monkeys and Harry Harlow did some not so nice things to them. Uh, it did give us some insight into love and attachment, which is part of key point one there, but let's get into it. You will, you will understand. So the purpose of this experiment was that Harlow had noted that very little attention had been devoted to the experimental research of love. You know, you can't really manipulate humans into loving each other just to research them. Uh, even then, it was not okay. So in a series of controversial experiments he conducted during the 60s, Harlow demonstrated the powerful effects of love and the absence of love. His work demonstrated the devastating effects of love deprivation and revealed the importance of a caregiver's love for childhood development. Um, essentially, he was looking at... Um, you know, if you gave one monkey love and another monkey, the, you know, you didn't give them love, what would their, um, disposition be like? What would be the differences between them? And none of them got true love, but we'll get into it. So there, this is the experiment. Um, there are kind of two parts. This is part one. It's called the wire mother experiment. So essentially he separated young rhesus monkeys from their mothers right away when they were born and gave them a choice between two different mothers. One was made of soft terry cloth, so that's key point three there, but provided no food. And the other was made of wire, but provided nourishment from attached baby bottle. So we have two points two and three within here. There was a wire mother and a terry cloth mother. So the terry cloth mother was soft and was comfortable but did not provide food, while the wire mother provided nourishment or milk from an attached baby bottle. Harlow removed the young monkeys from their natural mothers a few hours after birth and left them to be raised by these surrogates. Essentially, what he was trying to do was um, show like, you know, one of them was love and one of them was not love, essentially. One of the mothers, the terry cloth mother, was supposed to represent love and the wire mother was supposed to represent absence of love. The monkeys spent much more time with the cloth mother, even if she had no milk. The infant would only go to the wire mother when hungry. I believe I read somewhere that it was like 23 hours a day with the cloth mother and one hour a day feeding with the wire mother. The monkey preferred to spend time with the cloth mother much, much more. Once fed, from the wire mother, it would return to the terry cloth mother for most of the day, and if a frightening object was placed in the cage, the infant took refuge with the cloth mother. And when you see the videos that we have lined up at the end, uh, you will um, be able to see, you know, the results of that. There, um, they did a little documentary back then. And there's still the footage. So um, that was for the first experiment. It obviously liked the cloth mother a lot more. The second um, experiment essentially is called part two. And in this case, Harlow modified his experiment and separated the infants into two groups. He gave one the terry cloth mother. The terry cloth mother did not provide food. These monkeys were fed with a bottle or something like that. Uh, and then the other half of the monkeys were placed with a mother uh, that was made of wire, which did provide food. So they were both given food in different ways. The wire mother provided it while the terry cloth mother didn't. And essentially Harry Har Harlow wanted to see what the um, dispositions would be like and the difference between them here. Uh, so the behavioral differences between the monkeys who had grown up with wire mothers and those with terry cloth mothers were, were very stark. The wire mothers, um, the monkeys were much more timid they didn't know how to act with other monkeys. They were easily bullied and they would not stand up for themselves. They had difficulty mating and the females were inadequate mothers. So the complete absence of any kind of love 
or attachment had a severe effect on the mother on the monkeys that grew up with the wire mothers. Now, the terry cloth mothers were not great at any of these things, worse than with regular uh, normal mothers, if you will, but they were better. They were much less timid. They knew how to act with other monkeys better and they weren't as easily bullied. These last two with different um, kind of um, findings. Uh, we'll do more. You'll do more looking into that in the questions. So in conclusion, uh, Harry Harlow concluded that for a monkey to develop normally, he or she must have some interaction with an object to which they can cling during the first months of life. And he called that the critical period, and that's key point four. He also concluded that early maternal deprivation leads to emotional damage, but that its impact could be reversed in monkeys if an attachment was made before the end of the critical period. So maternal deprivation, or taking the monkey away from its mother, led to emotional damage, but that if you gave the monkey something to be attached to before the end of the critical period, that damage could be at least partially reversed. So he did some mean things to a lot of monkeys, but essentially came up with some valuable information um, that people have used in parenting that like giving your young child love is very important. Surprise. Uh, so your job is to watch these videos. Uh, should have them linked again. Uh, check out the important terms and then do the two pages of questions. If you have any questions at all about those, I'd be happy to to talk with those about you, um, about those with you, sorry. Um, but thanks so much for watching everyone uh, and I will see you soon.